Oh, well, that kind of spoiled the surprise. Oh, I didn't think we were playing this game. Yep. We're... We're gonna have fun with bugs. I wonder what they're hiding. Actually, the funny thing, Secret Stash Games is actually just the US publisher for IDOS Interactive. Why'd they do that? I think so that people wouldn't associate IDOS Interactive with this. Yeah, they were just like, you know... Nah, that would ruin our reputation a little too much. Let's, uh, let's go under something else. By the way, this intro sequence you're seeing here, pretty much almost shot for shot the trailer that was shown for the game in 2006 for promotion. And what's with the music? It's, like, trying to be dramatic as hell for I, I don't know. It doesn't fit the rest of the game at all. And, and in fact, when they did the trailer for this, it was just like the boss fight music from the game. So I don't know why they changed it to this. Were they trying to go for Silent Hill or something? Because it kind of doesn't work. Sort of like the title Escape from Bug Island doesn't work, considering we just saw lizard people, a spider, a giant gorilla. Yeah... I already feel lied to. I'm not even like a minute Speaking in. Speaking of it, welcome to Escape from Bug Island. We're in this one for the long haul. Oh boy. I'm I'm playing this, and uh, Unreal has joined me for co-commentary, and you don't know much about this game, do you? Um, I know a little, but I've never cared. I don't, I don't know how it ends. I don't know what happens. I just know vaguely stuff from that R make video from way back. That was just to show you that you can use Japanese voices. Frankly, it doesn't help much. And this is one of the few things I will give the game credit for, is having a left-handed option. Although, as you're about to see, kinda pointless. Well, at least it's something. I mean, you yeah. usually get screwed over. By the way, I'm probably going to cut the audio for the cutscene here. Well, it's not exactly my idea, Paradise. What do you think, Ray? Huh? Did you say something about Michelle? You know, if you keep staring like that, you're gonna go blind. What? I don't know what you're talking about. By the way, that bug that she was holding, one of the primary enemies in this game. How did she even hold it? Like, I'm not sure. There's like, like there's nothing to grab onto on the back of that. Did she just like put clamps into it in order to pick it up? Like, wouldn't that injure it? I mean, not like it matter. You said that was a main enemy, so. So, uh, I don't know if you've been paying at all, like, any attention to the dialogue, but... This is the start of a game within a game called Spot the Likeable Character. Oh, God. I'm probably gonna need a lifeline for that. Um, can I ask the audience? Uh, that depends if anyone watches this video. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I'll walk away. Um, nice doing this with you. <laughs> You're gonna walk away with a zero dollar prize. Yeah, it's better Which than is the getting best the question prize. wrong. Yeah, it's better than getting the question wrong, but still. Whatever. But this is just Ray going back and forth with Mike, who he's supposedly been friends with since high school, and yet they've spent the entire game fighting so far. 
I don't understand why you want, don't want to bang her. I mean, come on. By the way, I should point out that uh, there are a total of one, two, three, four male roles, like voice roles, in this game, and they're covered by two people. <laughs> that that's the total voice cast period. No, the total voice cast is six people. There's two female characters, and they're both voiced by the same person. <sighs> by the way, the person who voices over Ray was also Kenny in The Walking Dead the game. Oh, why'd you have to go and do that? And the lady who voices Michelle used an alias for this game. She's credited as Alien Casis, but it's actually Alien Ong who was great in Sleeping Dogs. Well, anything to not be associated with this is kind of understandable. Also of note, the whole having non-bugs in the Bug Island game thing, that's because this game was originally called Necronesia. That was actually a much better title. And Why? that's what it was called in Japan, where this was a launch day title for the Wii. Wait, this was a launch title? Mm-hmm. Huh. I didn't think it was. Thought it came a little bit after. And the funny thing is, when it came out there, it got panned a lot for... Uh, mostly for horrible controls. And that led IDOS to retooling the game, making the controls better, well, slightly, and adding little things at the end of the level, which I'll explain later when we get to it. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of abrupt jump cuts. It's actually making this kind of hilarious with the music cutting in and out. This is just going through the basic parts of the tutorial. If I didn't cut it up like this, it would be at least three times longer. Yeah, any time, like, Ray was talking, there'd be music, but once you go to gameplay, it's just dead silence. <laughs> this is basically just explaining attacks, how you pick up stuff, how you react to the environment, and the entire time, Mike is basically making fun of you. Again, friends since high school. I think you mean Ray? Wait, which one's Ray? I, that's the Ray is the part. one we're playing as right now. Mike is the one with the shotgun who keeps aiming randomly. Oh, okay. That does get pretty confusing. Like, you can tell how much I care. This is one of the few things where having left or right-handed controls affects how you play the game. Because if you have it right-handed, you swing the nunchuck to the right. Wait. I screwed that what? up already. You swing the Wii Remote to the right, and then you swing the nunchuck to the left to roll left. Oh. So, Michelle's supposed to be here for, what, science? Pretty much. I don't want to believe that just from the opening where she picked up the bug. Like, she seemed a little too excited for doing this for science, you know? Mm hmm. And it also begs the question why are Mike and Ray here? I don't know. Well, I understand Ray's here because even though he hates bugs, he, Michelle is basically the love interest that he's going after. But why is Mike here? Also note, she says, Ray, are you okay? You look pale, but she's looking at Mike. See, I told you it got confusing. Even the in-game characters can't even figure out who they are sometimes. What is that, the fifth time he's aimed at nothing? I'm just waiting for a misfire. Oh, that'll happen soon enough. Oh god, don't tell me I actually predicted something for this game. This part really, really drags on. And there is no reason for him to do this. 
That's like the only reason I'm here, you know. I want to do me or something. <laughs> um, I bet he's not taking this well. Who, Ray or Mike? Shotgun Man. I'll just call him Shotgun Man, because... You know... Cause the shotgun has more defining character traits than he does. So, after being rejected, is he just going to point the shotgun at her and miss fire? <laughs> well, at least he didn't miss fire. Wait. What? There you go. <laughs> Come on! I still don't understand what that was supposed to be. Also note, that's the necro note she's holding up. Oh. What if it was the Necronomicon? If it were the ne Necronomicon, this would be a much better game. Uh, don't say that. Not after, um, uh, that one... That's an evil knockout game. By the way, the guy who voices over Mike, also the director of the voiceovers for the whole game. So, the bar is set pretty high for voice acting, right? Oh, of course. What I think happened was, the one dude who voiced three other male characters was like, Dude, I'm out of voices. You need someone else to voice over this guy, Mike. Eh, fuck that, I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna get over the fact that he actually misfired. Like, what? Oh, it's okay. He's shooting blanks. Ho <laughs> ho! Wait, so he's blaming Ray that, well, you love her, so that means I must too. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I don't think love works that way. Uh, I just can't get over what a pushover Ray is. And this is the guy we're going to be playing as for the foreseeable future. Also, um, does Ray have a goatee? Sometimes no. I think he does. But why does it look like he does sometimes? Like, it would look like he'd grow one. Because I think they thought they were developing for the Dreamcast. Thus explaining some of these visuals. Actually makes a lot of sense as a Dreamcast game, now that I think about it. Also note, those random drops in the frame rate, those are not my recording software. That actually happens in the game. So, what's the maximum frame rate you can obtain in this? I think 8 frames per second. Oh boy. Not really, but... First thing we gotta do is go to that log in front of us. After... <laughs> After we get uh, the controls for turning on the light, which actually does become important later on. Uh. This, by the way, is a largely pointless mechanic, because you can only use save lamps when they're lit, but one of the first things you get is a lighter. But the first thing you get if you go to this log is a knife, which you definitely want because it's a hell of a lot better than the stick that we got from the tutorial. Oh, and Mike gets the shotgun that probably doesn't even kill anything. Honestly, I would take the knife instead. Uh, we'll we'll get to that later. And by the way, uh, this pendant that we're wearing right now does nothing. And it is my favorite pendant. The one that does absolutely jack shit. It does nothing, like me. But this this equipment slot does come in handy later on. So, that emblem said Dharma, so is this an episode of Lost that they just cancelled or something? No, it's an old rerun of Dharma and Greg. Oh. Uh, oh, got stuck on the log. 
It's going to happen <laughs> quite a few times. And this is Michelle's bag, which we can't open. We do get the key for it, but that's after we basically do a lap around the island. Because you do revisit certain areas. Now there's actually one other thing I want to show you real quick uh, before <laughs> I go on to the next part. Wow, good job! This happens a lot when you end up getting stuck in corners. Your limbs disappear. Oh god, that sounds terrible. <sighs> Are we having fun yet? I don't know, this is the beginning part. It's, it's gotta get good. Hang on, will you go out with me? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what the <sighs> God, even I don't get that bad by randomly aiming shotguns and firing blanks out in the distance. Retaliation. I mean, come that's, on. Like, that's like what I do in conduit multiplayer, <laughs> which we haven't played in a while. Yeah, we need to do that again. You need to get conduit dose starring Duke Nukem. Well, until then, shall we move on to part two? Yeah. Three. Two, one, play. Love how foggy it is. Kind of getting Turok flashbacks. Oh, it's, or it's way worse. Look at this frame drop just from looking up at the trees. Oh, good lord! See, you're at the ground. It's fine. It's fine. Slow motion. Oh, There's just too much trees for me to handle. Well, it's not just, like, multiple trees being there. There have been times where I've looked up at one tree, and the frame rate just took a nosedive. I think most of their graphic effort actually went into the tree branches and leaves and nothing else. Ooh, um, does this enable you to become Popeye or something? This finish? It should, but it doesn't. Oh... By the this way, game's already this is the nasty-ass fridge we got that canned food from. I should wonder, would Popeye still eat that if it was in a fridge like that? I think he would have better sense than that. Mm, well, what if he had to be desperate? Maybe. He might just eat the bugs instead. Yeah, in instead of growing stronger, he just becomes super thin. He could snap his back like a twig or something. But this is a recurring thing in the game, is you find journal entries from a group that made it to the island before you, and has since uh, been forced further into the woods and encountered more of the bugs. Now before so we they're leave, done for. Before we leave, you gotta go and smash this box, which has nothing in it. Whoa. But there is a reason that I'm doing that, and there's another reason that I'm also doing a lap around this house to make sure there aren't any more boxes back here. It's because, ah, here's number two. It's because when IDOS got a hold of this game, they decided to add, like, a new level of challenge, and by the way, that's how bad it gets when the light is off, which is why I'm keeping the light on for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I don't think there'd ever be a point to turn it off. Like, does this entire game take place at night? Pretty much, but there are some insects that you basically can't kill, that will kill you almost instantly if you keep your light on. So there are sections where you have to keep the light off. So, Silent Hill, except you're forced to in some spots. Kinda, yeah. At least with Silent Hill, there was a technique to it. Like, if you have it on, they can notice you. And if you have it off, they don't. But here, it's like, you don't have it off, a lot. Now we're going to take our time and go ahead and get the oranges out of this tree, which is the same tree from the tutorial. Well, no apples? Not yet. But going back to what I was saying before, IDOS added bonus objectives at the end of each level, as well as a purple fragment count. And the purple fragments are things that you get when you kill certain enemies. That looks tasty. I'll get back to that later, but the bonus objectives are interesting, but 
couple of hey, flaws. The only this? reward what's for them is getting more purple fragments. And by the way, he just said, huh, what's this, when he picked up a rock? That and he picked up a tasty orange. I mean, don't you keep that in your inventory and not automatically eat it or something, the orange? By the way, this box hidden in random ash shrubs. But the bonus objectives that they added, uh, you get purple fragments for them, and the slight problem with that is the game doesn't tell you what the bonus objectives are until you've already completed the level. Yeah, that's already pretty bad. Uh, uh, I looked too far up at the trees. And one of the bonus objectives in this area is to smash open ten boxes, which is precisely why I've been running around, wasting my time smashing open boxes that don't have anything in them. Why is this a bonus objective? It doesn't really accomplish anything. Or does it? But there's like no- there's nothing in them. What's the expiration be date on this? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, never mind, I'll shut up. Um... <laughs> By the way, two boxes to hold one mango. So, was it in between the boxes? You know what, I take it back, it was actually not in the boxes. I just wanted you to believe. This actually comes back around relatively soon, is that they play up the idea that there are other people on the island besides us. And these Wait. are not the same people from the journal entry that we saw before. That's not our boat? No. We got dropped off by that one boat that was just saying, Okay, I'm gone, bye, at the beginning. No. So basically, we have no way off the island. Oh shit, the ocean, a little too dangerous. I had to dodge that shit. We're gonna roll our way across the ocean and get out of here. Mm. If only that were true. The rolling, by the way, really sensitive. Like, how is that triggered? Uh, it's just by moving either the Wii Remote or the Nunchuck to the side. That's it? Yeah. So rolling is sideways only. You can't roll forward or backward. It's kind of forward and to the side. And by the way, the flashlight always just floats up like that when you trigger a cutscene. <laughs> I'm not cutting our audio for this one, because the only speech is him going... <laughs> Now, can you guess what kind of bugs these are? Um, well, I don't know. I've never seen them before. Right, these are supposed to be centipedes, and those green ones are baby centipedes, which are like the larger ones except one thing. You can kill them by stepping on them. Which is why I just led them all into one long line, <laughs> and then just ran over them. Are you stealing their freaking lunch money? Those are purple fragments that you get for killing enemies. God, you're such a bully. Oh, I'm going to be even more of a bully, because now I'm going to take the time to kill all of these. They don't really pose much of a threat, do they? Not as much. If, if they're in large groups like this, they can be kind of annoying. And I'm speeding this up, because I am not going to show you this in real time. The only reason I'm doing this right now is not for the purple fragments. But I'm doing it because it's another bonus objective. What, kill all enemies? No, kill 50 centipedes. Oh. So it tells you after that. Yeah, it tells you either as soon as you accomplish it, or at the end of the level when you've already missed it and you can't do anything about it. Oh, you better get those fucking boxes then. It's okay, we've almost got the boxes. Please don't leave me in suspense. And we have already broken the bug island motif. Yeah, doesn't it look like he has a goatee? Yeah, like, I kind think it's just... of. Some weird shadow work. Oh no, yeah. fish on my leg. I better roll to get it off. That's too much. You better cut oh, your leg off. Oh, it's in my dick. God, that can't be good. That can't be good. But, uh, yeah, look at how much damage I took from that. Oh, no, danger roll. So, is there a bonus objective with, um, 
The fish? Like, killed 20 of them? Yeah, there is a bonus object there. Oh, danger moment. When the camera switches like that, and Rage starts trying to get the bugs off him, you just basically shake the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck like an idiot. And we've got yes. 10 wooden boxes. Out of all 10. Oh, if I could just find a You missed one, you're fucked. Yeah, you can't miss any of the boxes. Why would you need a napkin for an orange? It's an orange. It's not like you're eating a giant barbecue rib. Yeah, in case it's not become painfully obvious yet, the audio cues for that, random. Oh, huh, what's this? And we have completed all the bonus objectives, which is rather convenient because the end of the level is right here. Oh, thank God. I don't think I could handle any many of those uh, fish bugs. Well, can you handle purple fragments? Because we got another hundred of them. <laughs> That's probably too much for me also. The bonus conditions are going to get worse in the next level. I'll just tell you right and how. Uh, it's always got to be something. Ugh, fucking fish. <laughs> Flying fish. I didn't want to point it out, but in the cutscene, like the audio, like he, fl you like when he flies, it's like swoosh, then dead silence, then jump cut. <laughs> It's yep. like, what? That happens a lot. By the way, uh, we just completed level one. There are yeah. 19 <laughs> levels in all in this game. And like so... I said before, you go through some areas more than once. So technically, it's kind of less than that. <laughs> 